Good morning. Welcome to our meditation in the meadow on this Monday, May 18th. I greet you with the peace of Christ. Let us take a moment to quiet ourselves in spirit, mind, and body, that we might be more open to the sacred presence within and all around us. A reading from Psalm 129 from Nancy Merrill's book, Psalms for Praying, an Invitation to Wholeness. Lift up your hearts to the Most High. Let the earth ring with songs of praise. Be glad, O people of the light. Let your life be impregnated by love's gifts. Discover in the great silence the mystery of who you are and be true to yourself. For wherever you dwell, there is beauty. Infinite love is everywhere. Know that the beauty hidden within your soul is seen by the eyes of your heart. Let the still small voice of the beloved guide you by day and comfort you at night. Then you will be blessed and, in turn, you will be blessing to the world. I shared that with our son Sam yesterday. I thought it was a beautiful psalm, an appropriate one um, for all of us to think about. I also asked uh, two of my Facebook friends whose poetry I've shared before, Andy Flattery, who teaches in Chicago, but writes some beautiful poems and has a blog. He shared this poem, and I thought it appropriate to share with you because it reminds me of Hidden Farm and the Meadow. Maybe it'll remind you of a place uh, that's important to you where you go. It's titled, There is a Place I Go. There is a place I go to remember you. A place I go to conjure frosty echoes from the wood. A place I go to recall the whistling wind. Through the planking of the barn, a place I go to witness. The mist rising off the lake. A place I go to remember you as wide as you are deep. Roots and branches embedded and outstretched. It is the place I first went to sing as you danced. It is the place I still go to recite the Lord's Prayer. A place I go to hear the heartbeat of the world. It is a place I never really leave. That's how special Hidden Farm Road has become to me, that it's a place I never really leave. There have been other places in my life. Church camp, Camp Pioca, Montreat in the mountains outside of Asheville, North Carolina, Washington Island and Sunset Resort, special places um, that we hold dear. Where are those places for you that you have things that you remember that are important to you, holy places and the people who've helped make them? I offer this prayer by Ted Loder. Let us pray. Gentle me, 
Holy One, into an unclenched moment, a deep breath, a letting go of heavy experiences, of shriveling anxieties, of dead certainties. That, soft, that softened by the silence, surrounded by the light, and open to the mystery, I may be found by wholeness, upheld by unfathomable, entranced by the sim simple, and filled with the joy that is you. My heart reaches out in joy for you, even in the midst of this gray, rainy morning. May the light shine in your heart and through your face for all to see, and may your spirit be blisted, lifted and blessed. For a blessing, I share this by Mara and Tarabasi, an evening blessing, and I'm using it for the morning. May the quiet noise of nature ease your spirit. May the quiet story of scripture warm your heart. May you always hear through the listening mind which may have nothing to do with ears, the still small voice of God and the peace be stilling of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful Monday. Be blessed, stay safe, wear a mask if you're out in public, wash your hands, and in doing those things, be the sacred presence of God loving your neighbor, even as you're loving yourself. Amen.